Hey folks, Jane and I are here at a location to check out a bottle cap on the gas. Just thought we'd do a quick intro here and then we'll come back up. If we do need make a score, we're out. Good day, YouTubers. Today we're going to do a little unboxing of some bottles I got from an old fella down the road there. Somebody was kind enough to give me his name, said he was looking to sell some bottles, so I went down and had a look at them. And uh, across the table from me is Jane. Say hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, I'm just going to have Jane hand me the bottles one at a time. We'll have a quick look at them. I honestly don't know anything about them, but uh, maybe some of you YouTubers do. And we also got this one chip challenge here. Well, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. It's a reaper pepper and a scorpion pepper that I made of that. It's a big tortilla chip that my sister gave me, thinking I might do that. But I don't think I will. I think we'll have Jane do it instead. What do you think, Jane? No. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Jane doesn't like that idea. All right. But I do like the sounds of that. So I'm having some vodka, and Jane is hard on the old hot chocolate tonight. Cheers, Jane. Let's get into the bottles. Okay, so first up, I got uh, Jane's over there. She's going to hand me a big old bottle there from this collection. And this is it here. And it is a Clark's Clark Brothers from Toronto. And... All these bottles are going to be from Ontario. I'm not sure if they're all from Toronto or not, but maybe some of you uh, viewers can identify some of them. They say, I don't know uh, really anything about them. This has an interesting logo here. It's got some wings and perhaps a sun or a wheel or something there. Check it out. I didn't clean this one up because I thought I might leave it and uh, maybe do a cleanup video on it. See what it takes to clean it up. All right, so I'll set that one there. That's in sight there. Jane, what else we got in the box there? Oh, we got this one. This one here is a nice blue colored one. It is blown in a mold with a tooled lip, I would say. And it is a Halpern Brothers. And it's from Toronto as well. Check it out. It's on the base. Anything? An H. Beautiful color. Maybe that was a beer bottle or soda bottle or water bottle. Who knows? I don't know. Feel free to mention it in the comments. Jane has another one on deck there. What do we got there? Oh, a little. Well, it would be a local med if we were in Toronto, but we're not in Toronto, but. J.R. Lee Dispensing Chemist, Toronto, Ontario. Nice chemist bottle. And another one. All right, this is uh, just a slicker. Looks like an old shoe polish bottle. It is blown in a mold in a lovely blue color. Like that. Oh, I don't think I mentioned that I paid $40 for these, and I think there was 17 bottles in total. Yeah, and he's got lots more there, and I might go down again and have another gander and see what I can pick out. Okay, so what else you got there, Jane? Well, I have two bottles. They are balsam, balsam honey. One is blue, so it's really older. And this one here is a clear. And really cool. Alright, both the... Yep, they're both the same. Balsam. Balsam honey. They are both blown in molds. The clear one might be tool top, and the blue one looks to be applied. So yeah, it's quite possibly a bit older for sure. Nice. All right, next up, what do you got over there, Jane? Well, I have two blanks, and right. they look like that they may turn purple. Well, yes, they do, actually. Yeah. That's a real nice looking bottle, actually. All right, there you go. 
Next up. Next up is... Oh, I like the looks of that one. Um, if you parlez le français, you <laughs> parle might, la be, France, you oui, might oui. be able to understand it. <laughs> okay, well, this is a nice blown bottle with the cork in it, and it is French. So hopefully, uh, maybe one or two of my viewers might be able to translate that. Syrup de comme de panette, compose, and some other stuff there. I tried looking it up, no idea. What it is, I couldn't make heads or tails out of getting any info online. If anybody knows, comment down below and leave a thumbs up. Right on. French bottle. Next up, Jane's going to eat this chip. No, just kidding. <laughs> what else you got there, Jane? Well, it's a J.R. Lee dispensing. Oh, a J.R. Lee dispensing. Well, that's the same as that uh, smaller one right there. Check it out. A big chemist and a little chemist. Toronto, Ontario. What are you laughing about? <laughs> All right, perfect. Okay, what else you got in the box, Jane? Um, this is a Charles Wilson. Charles? Oh, is that ever cool? It's got, uh, looks like a chipmunk or... Yeah, see? Check that out. Yeah, it's got the squirrel or something in there. Chipmunk or squirrel. I've seen these, uh, it's a blown bottle, tooled top on it. I've seen these in different shape bottles. First time I've seen one like that. Well, that's pretty snazzy. Anybody else ever seen one of these before? Pretty, pretty cool. I like that little bottle. A little stubby. Okay, so remember folks, I handpicked these out of, uh, I think, three tote tubs of bottles I looked through, and I tried to get the best deal I could. Like I say, it was $40 for all of them, and I don't think I did too bad, but uh, I would have liked to have paid about a dollar a piece for them, but <laughs> it ended up being a little over $2 a piece. But anyway, at any rate, still a pretty good deal, I think. What else you got there, Jane? Well, I have two um, slicks. And I believe they may turn purple. Well, I do believe you are correct. They're blow both uh, blown and mold bottles. Yep, we'll take all the purple ones we can get. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next? I believe this may be an inkwell. And inkwell, yes, it is. It's an Underwoods. I don't think that one's gonna be manganese glass. Someone's got a gray shoe to it. It might turn, but that's a nice bottle. It's not a screw top, but it looks like it had some sort of snap on top lid to it. But it is embossed there, as you can see. Underwoods ink. Right on. Nice shaped bottle. Next up. Well, it looks like it's a pint. Yeah, some sort of beer bottle or something. Oh, I like that. I like the color of it. I like the color, yeah, and the uh, logo. Like an eagle or something carrying a, uh, a barrel full of <laughs> booze, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, blown in a mold, tooled lip. Oh, there's writing on the base of it. The Standard Brewing Company. Hmm. Cleveland. Must be Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, there we go. It's out of the camera there. Very cool. I like I like that logo on it. Nice bottle. And then what? 
I have another blank. Another slicker. Sure. Another slicker. Unfortunately, this one doesn't look like it's going to be manganese glass. There's a little bug inside there. Could be, though. Well, the gentleman I bought them off was very persistent on me taking some slick ones, so <laughs> I had to do that. Thumbs up! <laughs> wow. Cheers, folks. <laughs> How's that hot chocolate coming, Jane? Good. Good, yeah. Rid of my headache. Yeah. All right, so we got one more bottle left, folks. And it is a very fancy looking. It's a uh, sauce. Very fancy looking sauce bottle. Yeah, cool. Would that turn? The top looks like it's a little bit crooked on the top there. Um, not sure if that's sort of got a gray shoe to it. Uh, it might turn. I don't know. But here's the base. It's a Lee's and Langley sauce, Toronto. Anybody seen those ones around before? First time I've seen that bottle. I love the shape of it. All right. So that's going to be it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Jane and I were out all day today, and we are just wept. But we got a pile of bottles. That'll be coming up in a video sometime in the future. But before that, we got you know, a bunch from the 1890 site to post. So stay tuned for those. Those are always good ones. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one. Over and out, folks. Cheers. USA. Round one. Fight. Hadouken! Hadouken!